So how was uh, how's life changed? Just kind of you go from being somewhat anonymous in some ways to kind of being the guy all of a sudden, and it, almost like overnight. I mean, how's life changed? Just campus, practice, everything. I mean, it has changed a little bit. Of course, I'm getting a lot more notice now. Uh, a few more people know me around campus, but I try not to let it get to my head. You know, my parents always taught me to be humble, stay level-headed the whole time so I can just be the best I can. Like on the field, I'm not worrying about none of the, uh, none of the fame, none of, none of the notice. I'm just going out there doing my job for the team so that we can execute on our best level. How much did it help? You've, you've done, you've had practice reps, but now you have practice reps after game reps. You know what I mean? You've seen yeah. things in a game and now you're building off that. How much does it help that game experience now as you prepare this week? Yeah, it does help a lot. I would say it really helps me be more of a vocal leader. Like that's really what one thing I've been trying to do is be more vocal to the team. Like my energy level be way through the roof. So it just makes the team, we practice a lot faster. We play a lot faster. I feel like playing the game, it helps me really see the defense better. I see the field better. I know what it's like to be in a game uh, down. Uh, against a real a real football team instead of just a uh, scout team rep, so it did help a lot. You had a you had a former college coach as a high school coach. Yes, sir. How much did that speed up your development? Anything you see that translated? That really did help a lot. Uh, coach King, he, me, and him, we became like that. I know he uh, put Trevor Lawrence in the NFL, so I was just trying to pick his brain every day. I went in there. I would get in there at six a.m. We'd watch film for about two hours. So when I came here, like his offense wasn't too much different from the one in high school. So I was able to process it quickly and then. Come up here with Coach Beck, Devin, helping me, teaching me, learning something new every day. I mean, it just helped me a lot better. So I wasn't just totally, totally confused when I got up here. What was it like kind of realizing you didn't know the exact protocol of the victory formation, like kind of the way to kneel and just the whole process? <laughs> yeah, I was just so excited that we was that we was up and I knew that we just had to do that victory formation. And, you know, a couple things forgot, but um, we always went on the sideline, went over it. I mean, I knew what it was, but I mean, we went on the sideline, went over it, so we make sure everything went right. It's kind of, you just like see the metaphor there of like literally learning how to win. I mean, do you feel like you've learned how to win a college game and how does that feel? Um, I would say I've learned a little bit. I mean, it's still only one game. I mean, it was just one game, my first college, really first college experience. But uh, I know I'm going to get a lot more experience, just keep on learning how to win those games, learning how to do the best for my team, learning how to keep on doing my job to be the best quarterback I can be for my brothers. Speaking of Devin, how big has he been during this whole transition process? Man, Devin, I see him as a big brother I see that I never had. Like, ever since I came up here, like, the first day I came up here, I was like, yo, can we go in the indoor and throw? And just asking him, like, what's cover two? Like, how did, like, how do you see these deep defenses? Because I was trying to be, like, as mentally smart as he was so I can be as good as quarterback he is one day. So just being around him, and he's helped me so much. Like, it's not even, it's not even funny. How do you kind of... You know, the fan perspective or media perspective, you see Wake Forest, you think this might be a shootout. Who knows if that's the case? But how do you kind of control that part of your mind to not maybe take unnecessary risks or kind of, you know, try to get into a shootout if it doesn't even need to be one? How do you kind of approach that kind of mindset? I kind of approach that just taking every play 1-0. and That's what we were taught to do. Uh, each play do the best you can to the best of your ability, and the rest will take care of from there. But... Um, I'm not really getting into too much of that. As long as I can do my job, get the ball to the receiver, uh, read the right read, I can. I know that we're going to be uh, very successful. I know when you were recruited, you thought you might even try to play baseball. Yeah, yeah that's still your plan to try to play baseball. Play? It, is, it is still a dream of mine to play to play both. Uh, my dad is my dad really wants me to play both, and I really love baseball myself. Me and him have a strong passion for baseball, so if I get the opportunity, I am going to try it. Yeah. But right now, that is still that is the plan. Yeah. What were you shortstop, center field? Center field. Do you, you know, you hear a lot about the baseball stuff, Patrick Mahomes, mm. Russell Wilson, Kyler. I mean, does it help you throw with your arm angles and those different things? I'll say it actually does a little bit because uh, younger, I, play, I did play infield, so, you know, you got to get a little bit of, of the arm angles. So that did help a lot. Like, when you got a screen patch, just flip it out sidearm, it did help a lot. Were you always number 16, or what did it kind of mean to you when you got number 16? Yeah, I was never number 16. In high school, my freshman and sophomore year, and junior year, I was number 6. And then my senior year, I was number seven. So when I came up here, this was my first time being double-digit number. But, like, I didn't know. I thought it was just a random number. Then I looked up on the stadium and it said 16 Russell Wilson. I was like, oh, snap. So then I, heard, <laughs> then I saw the patch that said Russell Wilson. So I really took it in. Like, it was really honored to wear that jersey. And I just try to do the best I can in that jersey. But I do like the number a lot now. You ready for Terrell?